Welcome to another edition to the Assassin's Sports Show. Guys, thank you for love. Appreciate sure you bringing your channel today. You have the face of one of the police. I cannot do the show watch. I got to for likes, thank you for shares, thank you for your comments, and guys, thanks so much for taking time to watch my video each and every day. Yeah, I'm amazing fans. I cannot do the show watch. Plus, guys, if you pass by the YouTube channel, like the content, like the show, hit that subscribe button. Come to Assassin's today, guarantee to all my original assassins who stuck by me when we was at 20 to 30 to 40 to 300 subscribers, man. Y'all yeah, been amazing. Thank you, thank you so much for reaching out to me, for telling me how y'all feel about the show. Even the good things and the bad things, it's all good. I try every day to be better as a person, learn as a person. So all the criticism, all that, thank you so much for it. To my new assassins, man. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, thank you so much for believing on this show. I leave everything out there, man. I work for a living, so it's hard for me to do content sometimes, but I do try. But to all those who have subscribed and been watching me, the likes, the comments, the, the reaching out, whatever, man, I make this show for y'all. I hope y'all know I'm, I am dedicated on this show and I always put out videos. It might not be every day because, you know, life happens and st stuff happens. So hopefully... um we can go back in track and start making more videos and stuff like that. But I do put out videos. And one thing about me, and you have not heard, if y'all comment, I comment back to y'all each and everything. I dedicate myself to that because I don't want to be one of those YouTubers. Don't reach out to my fans. Don't comment to my fans. A lot of them do. They don't care. They just, you know, they got their little stick and they stick to it. And those who have not subscribed yet, hopefully you can hit that subscribe channel and all that good stuff, guys. So I had a request and I've been doing my research and w one of my fans said, listen, what you don't do about the Dolphin receiver core? So here it is, man. I'm doing this for y'all, for this fan, especially. You reached out, you wanted me to do a receiver. So I was doing my homework and, and I'm gonna do it. Do the Dolphin have the best receiver core in the NFL? I'm gonna lead up to that. Um, so I'm gonna touch on that base, you know, and to that fan, man, thank you so much for the comment. You wanted me to touch up on it. I am, I did this, I was doing research actually. That's why I have not been making videos. I was doing a lot of research and, and I came up with something. So hope you enjoy it. Hopefully this is what you're looking for, for this video. To everybody out there, if y'all have a cool quest, if y'all want me to share something, comment and whatever and i will do the research and i will show in but first off guys you heard me talk about it champ zone fitness go check them out guys plantation cooper city um course rings guys if you want to look good and you want to feel good you want to pump up and you want to look really good and you want to cut up uh whatever y'all want to do that's the best gym out there i don't know how many times i got to say it go check them out guys they got the best trainers in the world out there i'm telling you, you want to look good that's the gym for you so, like I say, Panamotion Code is Assassin Sports Show. So, enough of that, right? Get that stuff out of the way. And the only reason I'm promoting them, because I love them. And I love this gym. I've been to many gyms, and I do. So, real quick. So, little touch on that. So, let's go ahead, guys, and um, talk about the receiver court of the Dolphins. But first off, we have news on the Dolphins. Um... Marvin Ingram came to visit the Dolphins. I think that'd be a great signing. I think that he will be a mentor for um, Phillips. And I think Phillips will learn a lot from him if they could sign him. I'm not expensive, cheap contract and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to talk about receivers now. And, and this question has been asked, do the Dolphins have a great receiver core better than the NFL? Here, here, here's my take on it. Um, we don't know what water is. Yes, we saw in college how that's going to translate to the pros. I think he's going to be fine, um, but I'm not going to say he's there. He's going to be the best receiver out of this group because, you know, he has not played a snap. We have to see it. And to me, I got to see it. I want to see how this offense will run. I want to see because it's a new offense. I think they're going to run a lot of RPOs, and I think it will fit Waddle and Tua perfectly. And, you know, Parker, and I don't know. They got to cut a receiver, right? Um, 
can it be Albert Wilson get cut? Ja Listen, Jaquen Grant, um, he had a nice practice today. You got to cut him. He does double curl like just too many times on the ball. And you can't trust him in games. I'm sorry, you can't. And he's a great return. You know, I think he's the man out. Um, Albert Wilson, I don't know what to expect from Albert Wilson. He's, you know, because you already got, you already got um, Waddle. You, you know, Albert Wilson can play, but I don't think he's going to be on this team. Now, now you got Fuller. He's suspended for a game. So he's a game. But the thing with Fuller is, he's awesome when he's on the field. Injuries hurt him. Consistency hurts him because he can't be. He's always injured one way or the other. He gets on the field. When he's on the field, he's dynamic. It's no question about it. Nobody can debate that. But that's my concerns. Parker, same way. When he's on, he's on. But when he's hurt, he's hurt two, three, four games, and then that will help. I think we do have a deep receiver core. I think it will it will improve. I think this receiver core is way better than what we have the last couple of years. I think I like a lot of things what Miami done this offseason. So from that aspect, yes, we should have a better receiver core. We should, right? In theory, we should have a great receiver core. Now, it's rumor, it's not even a rumor. If y'all saw Shannon Sharp call Julio Jones, and you know how I feel about Julio, listen, when he was drafted, I think Atlanta stole the draft because they gave him two first rounders. I told him I gave him three first rounders to get Julio Jones here. And I'm telling you this, I don't know any insight and I don't know anything. I don't have anybody insight on this. I think he's coming to Miami. Book it, however y'all want to read it. Y'all hear it first. If it happens, y'all hear, hear it first. I think Julio Jones will come to Miami. Now, if you give me Julio Jones, Durante Parker, Fuller, Waddle, dude, you have a beast receiving core. You have like a Tampa Bay receiver core. Cause now you got Julio. Yes, he's, you wanna say he's older or whatever, yes. But when he's on, man, he's a dominant player. Ain't no one, nobody can guard him one-on-one. -on -one. I don't care who you put. Now, you got to double team somebody. If you got Parker, if you got Julio, Parker, and Waddle, and then when Fuller come back, you got four receivers right there. Dude, that's explosiveness. And then you, you're throwing Gesicki. Now you're talking about a, a dynamic play, player. I mean, who you gonna, who you gonna double team? Who you gonna, you know, who you gonna put one? Cause you straight up, you know you got to double team Julio Jones. You're not leaving Julio Jones one-on-one. -on -one. You leaving Parker one on one? Okay. Who you who you double team me? Are you double team me Waddle or are you double team me Fuller? Cause if you double team Fuller, now Waddle should be open and, and it's gonna go. So those things. Imagine Julio Jones. Now imagine you got Julio Jones, Bell, as your running back. Now you have a dynamic offense. Now you have a scary offense. Now you can. Now you can't load up on the box. Now you can't, you got to double team the outside, the inside, whatever, however you're gonna line up. And then you not, now you got a running back. I mean, it, it just a dynamic piece to the puzzle. I would trade for Julio Jones, me personally. Julio Jones is out of Atlanta. He is not going back to Atlanta, book it. And I think that's the biggest mistake Atlanta can do not to keep Julio Jones. I don't care. He's older. I don't care. Julio Jones makes that team. You take away Julio Jones, that team is not no good. Yes, you got Matt Ryan. If you want to say that. But you take him away. Yes, you got Kyle Pitts. But Kyle Pitts is no Julio Jones. He has not been proven. I like Pitts a lot. But let's see what he does on the field. He's going to be great. But if Atlanta could have kept Julio Pitts, now you're talking about a great, great players. Now... You, you take away that accident, not, not teams could load up uh, Kyle Pitts, double team Kyle Pitts, and, and not, now Atlanta's back. And he's a rookie, so he's going to have learning curves. So at, as a tight end, even you put him on the field, you still you got a learning curve. Like any 
any pro. I like the Dolphins receiving core. Now you put Julio Jones in there, it's just dynamic. It's all about what I, I like, and that's what I like, guys. I really do. I think Julio will make this team a Super Bowl contender right away. That's my opinion. And and it's all for us on Tua now. If you get Julio Jones, it's all for us on Tua. You have the weapons. Now it's on Tua. And I think Tua will have a great season. I really do. So, guys, that's the video. To that fan who reached out, guys, thank you. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for the comments. Um, I just came from work, so I was doing all this. And I'm telling you, thank you for reaching out. I got you. And I hope you like this video. To that great fan who commented. Y'all amazing. I guess y'all amazing. And again, y'all awesome. Thank you for reaching out. Comment more. And to that great fan, and I'm gonna say great fan because you are. You've been you've been on the show each and every time and complimenting. So thank you, thank you for that. Um to everybody else, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. God bless. See you later, guys.